All right, folks, this is one of my probably top 10 favorite cars to sell used. I just really like these things. This is a 2001 and a half Volkswagen new Passat. There's a difference. They changed the body style in 2001, and this is the new body style. As you can see, though, this has ultra low mileage. That's nothing for a Volkswagen, 104,569, and especially not for one, you know, this age. I have personally put probably over 500 miles on this vehicle because I adore it. It's just fantastic. It is a wagon. Let me start her up for you. I put a fair amount of work, probably put about $1,000 into this car to make it as nice as I possibly could. Obviously, nothing's going to be perfect at this age, but this is about as good as it gets. This is just a super nice car, but let's check out all the stuff. Yes, the luggage compartment's open. It's interesting because all of the information and the um, those LEDs and stuff, they all work. And as you can see, there's no check engine lights on, none of those annoying warning lights on. All right, let's do the windows. Right rear, there you go. Right front, auto down, auto up. Come on around this side, left rear down and up. And of course, the all important driver's window, auto down oh, and up. There you go. And let's check it. It's got, does, of course, this thing is really loaded, so it's got, you know, the power sunroof, as you can see. And close that. And it's even got the power. Do that, and there's your uh, tilt. Okay, close that up, and of course you do have the hangover cover there. All right, radio. I know this works, because like I said, I've been driving this car, I know everything in this car. All right, so you can see that that works. The heated seats work awesome in this car, by the way. Uh, I use them a lot this winter when I've been driving it because I just really like leather heated seats. Uh, I have had the opportunity, though, and this is really good, this spring to drive this vehicle when it was warm out and the air conditioner works great on this car. It's got steering wheel controls for the cruise control and the radio. It's an adjustable wheel. Like I said, leather heated seats. This is just a really nice, very fancy car. Let's check your mirrors out. There's your left one. Power, no problem. All right, let's do your right one, which is, to me, more important. And in and out and down. There you go. That works exactly as it should. Nice, as you would expect of a vehicle, obviously, with this kind of mileage. The seats are in very nice shape. The car is very clean, both inside and out. But I'll go over everything with you like I normally do. All right, move this out of the way. You can see there. It doesn't look like it has the factory floor mats. That's about the only thing I can say. Look at the driver's seat. I mean, obviously, there's a little bit of wear and tear here and there but not bad. And this car, I, as far as I know, so far I've counted eight airbags. So this thing is actually a really safe car as well. It's got all the airbags and all that stuff. I think it has anti-lock brakes even, but I'll double check that when we do the brake test. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna check out, as you can see, nice clean alloy wheels. Let's see what kind of tread we have left on these tires. All right, left front tire, it looks like about eh, 530 seconds. No, wait, here we are. Almost, no, that's millis, I can't even read this. My eyes are terrible. Five, yeah, 5.30 seconds on the left front. Wow, that was brutal. All right, this is your left rear, which actually looks quite a bit better. And, come on, where is it? 30 seconds, there it is. Almost 8.30 seconds. That's pretty darn good. That's about two thirds of the tire left. All right, let's do this side. Looks to be similar to the other side. Yep, right around 8.30 seconds. And let's do the right front tire. Eh, 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 eh. Right front tire, eh, a little under, maybe about 7.30 seconds. So obviously the back tires are a little better than the front. So if you want to swap them around, put your best on the front, that's up to you. Right front fender, no nicks, no dings, no scratches. Right front door, no nicks, no dings, no scratches. Let's open this baby up, there you go. You can check out, very nice, very clean. As you can see, I don't know if you can see this right here, that shows you it's got the uh, side impact airbags there, but if you look over here, there you got your curtain airbag there, and a curtain air airbag there on both sides of course, and of course the dual airbags, you know, in the front. So, like I said, so far I'm up to eight. I haven't even gotten in the back seat yet. Here's your door jam. As you can 
can see, very nice, very clean. And now we'll do the door itself. And as you can see, very nice, very clean, no rust, no corrosion whatsoever on this baby. All right, here's your roof. Obviously, it's got a roof rack. No crossbars, interestingly enough, but it does have the roof rack. All right, let's do the back seat. There you go. Actually, you can see the little clearer that there's an airbag there. Now, this seat does fold down. In fact, I did have this folded down for a little while because I was carrying a bunch of stuff around. And you actually have a very good amount of room uh, to put stuff in this vehicle. All right, let's do your door jam. This is the right rear door we're doing right now, in case you lose track. And here is the door frame itself. And as you can see, very nice, very clean. The door itself, I don't see any nicks, stings, or scratches. Right rear quarter panel, no nicks, stings, or scratches. Going on the rear bumper, I see a couple of nicks, a couple of scratches, which you would kind of expect, but it's not all beat up, that's for sure. Let's take a look underneath the back of the car. There we go. There's that. And again, as I said, you got plenty of room here in the back, and if you need more, you just fold those seats down. You gotta pop the headrests out, of course, but once you do, you got plenty, plenty of room. Hey, look at this. You get two jacks with this car. Interesting. And the tool, and it looks like a full-size spare, so that's going to go with the car. All right, and here we go. Here's the door jam for the trunk, or trunk jam, I should call this, I guess. And, of course, the trunk itself is in fantastic shape. Again, no rust, none of that stuff. And let's close this up. This is the, as I said, this is a Volkswagen Passat wagon. It does have the V6 engine, which is what I prefer in this vehicle rather than the turbocharged motor. Rear window defogger, and I know it works, and the rear window wiper. All right, we're coming up the uh, left side of the car now. And as you can see back here, the left quarter panel, very nice, very clean. No nicks, no dings, no scratches. Let's do the roof on this side. And of course, very clean. All right, left rear. There's the passenger area. There's your door jam, left rear. There we go, and now we'll go around and look at the door. All right, there you have it. And again, three for three, very nice, very clean. The door itself has one little scratch, it looks like right there. But other than that, no nicks, no dings. And of course, here's your driver's door jam. do the driver's door frame and as I had hoped and it's suspected we're four for four this car is super super clean and let's see the driver's door I don't see any nicks I don't see any dings I see one tiny wee little scratch right there that's about it uh, let's see left front fender again no nicks no dings no scratches so this car I gotta say is in terrific shape especially considering the age now, looking at the front, you can really tell how this car was taken care of. The headlights are clear and clean. Uh, the bumper's not all beat up. The bottom doesn't look to be crushed or anything like that. Now, let's take a look under here. About the only flaw I can say in this car is that. You need to get a new piston. Obviously, I, you know, to hold it open, I put vice grips on there, but... Other than that, this is just one fine, fine running automobile. And I love the Passat because it's got the uh, five-speed manual trans or automatic transmission versus like the Jetta and stuff that has the four-speed. Like I said, I definitely prefer the V6 engine. But I'm going to shut up and let you guys listen to this engine for a second to hear how nice it is. There you have it. All right, let me close this up. All right, and the hood, as I suspected, it's got a couple of uh, little stone chips and whatnot. But other than that, this car is actually super nice looking, super clean. It's a great color. 
and it just runs fantastic. This is probably one of the nicest cars I have right now. And if you're lucky enough to live in Pennsylvania, guess what? You have until October before you even got to get the car inspected. It passed both emissions and safety last October in Pennsylvania, and that's kind of a big deal. All right, now, of course, all of this doesn't matter no matter how nice the car looks, no matter how clean it is, it really doesn't matter if the car doesn't run well. So the next thing we're gonna do is take it for a test drive. All right, we're gonna take it for a ride now. And one thing I've been getting in the habit of doing lately is I like to start the cars cold and warm. Especially on older cars, it's important that you always see them start ice cold like you did before when I just started it. This car hadn't been warmed up or anything. You can actually check the video and see that the temperature gauge was on basically zero. Uh, but now it's been running, you know, for 10 minutes or however long the video's gone. It's up to 120, well, 190 degrees. That's where it's supposed to be, right in the dead in the middle. And it starts up fine warm. Okay, and that's a good tip whether you buy a car from me or not. You always want to do that when you're looking at these types of vehicles. All right, so let's go. Let's see a little bit. And we'll take it for a ride. This also has what's called auto stick, which means if you want to like have a little fun and shift it, the car, it's automatic always, but you can actually shift it manually through the gears. All right, here we go, but I'm just gonna leave it and drive for now so you guys can see how nice and smooth it is. This is such a smooth, quiet car, it's amazing. It's pretty peppy too. I mean, we got up to like 55 miles an hour in no time. I did replace a right front CV joint, and you know, like you see, we're going down the road perfectly straight. But if you notice, the steering wheel's just off a hair. Probably would, you could probably have it aligned out if you wanted to. If it really bothers you, I wouldn't mess with it. But I don't know what it is about why they put a CV joint in. The wheel was perfect before they put the CV joint in, and now the wheel's cocked a little bit. But again, it's not an issue unless you make it one. Here, head back. Hope I don't get hit in the back. Yeah, this idiot in the BMW almost ran into me. Nice. Way bay. Alright, and then I'm gonna really I'm gonna do the auto stick actually. And we'll go up through the gears that way. Here we go. Third 50, fourth at 60, fifth at 65, which is a little too fast. So now I'm going to bring it back down to fourth and slow down a little bit. So you can see, just a fantastic running car. I, like I said, I've driven the car 500 miles. I know it inside and out. And I would drive this car anywhere at any time right now. All right, we're going to do a brake test. And basically all that's going to consist of is me pulling into this vacant lot across the street from my place, letting go of the steering wheel, slamming on the brakes, and see how they work. And I'll describe to you what happens. I always recommend you keep your eye on the steering wheel because you want to look to see that the brakes don't pull the car wildly to the right or to the left. That would indicate some kind of brake balance problem. But here we go. One in the vacant lot. Find a little patch of gravel here. Look at the wheel in. Okay, now this car is pretty quiet. You may have just been able to hear that, but I definitely could hear it. Uh, this car does have anti lock brakes and they work perfectly. It stopped us very quickly, very safely and I could hear the anti-lock brake uh, pump going. So we didn't even skid when we were on the gravel. Normally in a car with regular power brakes with no anti-lock, we probably would have gone straight, but it would have been skidding and you could hear it. This car, no problem stopping. So I gotta say, you want a safe, little, inexpensive family vehicle? Man, is this the one. Eight airbags, anti-lock brakes, you know, just all the comfort and convenience in the world, that's this car. And it's got 104,570 miles on it. Very stupidly low mileage, actually. And you're gonna get one heck of a car. So I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod now, and we'll take a walk around the car, and then we'll end. All right, there you go, as you can see still. It's warmed up, no check engine lights, no warning lights of any kind. All right, let me get out. And it's actually, like I said, a really good looking car, too. All right, here we go. Oh, 
All right, folks, and as I always do, I really hope that if someone needs a really nice, low mileage, reliable family wagon, this would be the one for you, and I hope it goes to a good home. Thanks.